as the most Irish person here, well, I really wait, think whoa, that. Whoa, I'm, whoa, whoa, dude, I'm Irish. Well, yeah, but you're not as Irish as me. I could be. You don't know that. How do you know that? Charlie, I have a shamrock tattooed on my thigh. Do you have? So what? I'm gonna show it to you. You see it? What the hell is this, Frank? I, I thought we were going to a distillery. You want an authentic Irish experience? There's nothing more Irish than a corporate tax shelter. Welcome to the worldwide headquarters of Frank's Fluids. To the dad I didn't know I had. <laughs> well, I'm just sorry that I didn't get a chance to see you growing up. Yeah. <laughs> and for what it's worth, I did love your mother. So did I. We all did. A wonderful woman. I banged her too. We gotta shred a bunch of documents. What, what, what? What are you talking about, man? Well, the thing of it is, um, the Frank's Fluids may or may not have been the official beverage supplier of Jeffrey Epstein. The tiny car, that, that's all part of the charm of, of, of Europe. You know, like driving on the left-hand side of the road. Dangerous for Americans like you, but you know, it's authentic, and, and that's what I want. That's what I'm going for, an authentic Irish- Get fucked! Oh. Damn it! What the hell is this? What are you talking about, Dee? This, this place is amazing. I mean, I saw an old bell tower outside and what I think used to be a moat. Okay, this place is perfect. I only want one man inside of me. The big man. The big man upstairs. The only man that can fill me up. Well, and his son. And the Holy Spirit. I'll take all three of them at once. I've done that before. That was more in a physical sense, not a spiritual one. And believe me, it was messy. Totally worth it, though. I loved it. Whoa, this place has a dark past. Murder, betrayal, beheadings. Well, you know, it's a castle, D. You know, people were going crazy in castles all the time, and the beheading people, well, that, that, that was just their way of solving problems back then. This was in 2008. <coughs> to, what? The perfect woman with the perfect head of Irish hair. What, what the, what the hell is that with the hair thing? What are you, some kind of freak? I'll be back. Well, gentlemen, this driving experience has become much more charming now that I've switched to driving on the correct side of the road. Huh? See? The Irish are so accommodating. They, they don't want to drive headfirst into a maniac. You know, they will simply move to avoid us. Hi, how are you? Lovely, how are you? I'm great, I'm great. Are you from Ireland? <laughs> How'd you guess? <laughs> Oi! Liar! What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? You're not Irish, or if you are, that, that's a wig. There's no smell at all to you. Am I to believe that you're a natural redhead and yet there's no odor? No odor at all? No. I don't believe you. Oh! <laughs> Ew. Can you pull, just give me a big tug and I bet you could get me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here. I got you. Let me just stun um, oh, my hand and I'll say... Legend has it that only when a man is thrown from a cliff into the sea may his soul be released. When I pass, I'll have the same done for me. All Kelly men must be thrown from a cliff into the sea. What about the women? The women roam the land. as terrible hags and banshees whose wailing warns of impending death. It's a butternut squash soup. And for the special guest, there's a couple meatballs in there. What goddamn meatballs in that soup? Did you hear something? Yeah. Oh, it's probably your stomach rumbling from hunger. Eat up before they get cold. What's in the soup, Frank? It's just, it's just, just butternut squash, just simple Are soup. Are the meatballs turds? I'm really enjoying watching you struggle. <laughs> you drunk bitch! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna save you! Jack, Frank! You eat a meatball! You want me to eat the meatball? Yeah, just eat a meatball. Eat one. Hey, grab a meatball, scoop it out. <laughs> what was that? A bad she. I knew it! I see you all fell for my ruse. What ruse? Are you asking us to go on a hike with your dad and us saying yes? Oldest trick in the book. Asking someone to do something? Exactly. And then them doing it? 
Precisely, yes. Wait a minute, Where, where's Shelly? You said he was coming with us. Oh yeah, no, Shelly's coming with us. Yeah, he's going on a hike all the way up the mountain. Only thing is, he can't really walk, so we're gonna have to carry him. Wow. Uh... Oh, oh, shit. I will speak at whatever volume I choose. And if you don't like it, you can suck my big fat dick! One volume? For every single person in the whole wide world? That's socialism, and I won't stand for it! We should be able to speak at whatever volume we identify with, because that is the American way! But you are not in America! We are America, sweetheart! And we carry our country with us wherever we go! Because we love her. And when you love someone, you can't bear to leave them behind. Not ever.